This week we're checking out Vancouver, British Columbia and staying in a stranger's house. We'll show you our highlights and challenges from Chinatown to Yale Town. From the top to the bottom. From the most popular spot to absolute gems hidden in plain sight. And we learn how nice Canadians really are. We are Zeke and Terry, and we are thrilled to share with you our latest empty nest midlife adventure. Did you check your tag number? I, I checked you. <laughs> okay. I'll tag near it. I think we have one more gauntlet to run and then we'll be out of the airport and into Vancouver. Vancouver. So we just checked in to our Air, Airbnb. Our home exchange for the, the week. And I feel like if you look behind us, feels like we're in a tree house. This place is absolutely lovely. They left us snacks and treats. Yeah, much nicer than an Airbnb or a hotel. So uh, it's nice to uh, just be able to chill. So when I need room service, I just call you? I'll, I'll find a bell. <laughs> All right, we are out for our first adventure in Vancouver. and We're gonna go down to the downtown slash gaslight slash Chinatown slash Oh, who Japantown. knows, who knows where we're going? It's the downtown area. Because we are definitely in a suburban area outside of the city center in a cute little neighborhood. We just got off the bus and I've never seen people thank the bus driver. Oh my God, that was just crazy. I guess we are in Canada where people are just a lot more polite. Well I said done, Vancouver. I said So we just had dinner at the top of Vancouver, which is a revolving restaurant. And initially we were just gonna go have a drink because we had time, but then I couldn't resist sitting right by the windows. And yes, it was expensive and yes, it's touristy, but we had the most amazing view of the area and totally got our bearings. So I yeah. think this is a great way to get initiated into the Vancouver area. Well, we rode our first aqua bus. And there he goes right there. That was super fun. I think I know my retirement job now. <laughs> the boat aqua bus, the pickle bus in, in the pickle, Victoria. Yeah, pickle boat. And this guy here just having a great time puttering around. The boat does like eight knots or something like that. Totally chill. This is a 10 minute walk into Chinatown and we've been told it's a little bit of the sketchy area. We're like, we're from San Francisco, we yeah. get it.
So our venture into Japantown was... No. No. Just no. That's like a zero out of ten, the walk from Chinatown towards Japantown. It was like we were in the Tenderloin. There were parts that I was like, I feel extremely uncomfortable. We need to get out of here. We walked back towards the J Dynasty restaurant where we had lunch and found the Dr. Sun Yet Sen Classical Chinese Garden, which is an oasis amongst the craziness that is outside. In, in, in my opinion, probably the only real thing from what we've seen so far as a reason to come over here is this. Um, is this. So if you're asking me, I'm going to say put this one in your destination, come here. But if you. Leave. Yeah, I don't think I'd recommend anything else yeah. in the Chinatown area, which is very sad. Another post office inside of a drugstore. Yeah, and super, super nice woman who gave me, sold me postage, and gave me special airmail stickers to attach to the postcards as well. Oh. If you would like one of the postcards from Zeke and Terry Adventures, make sure to subscribe to our newsletter at zekeandterry.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if we don't have your physical address, you can send it to us on a postcard or on the back of a $20 <laughs> bill. This is a park with a garden and a conservatory that I can get behind. A few people here, everybody that's here is local. There's no tour buses from some crews pulling up here. We did see a bunch of kids dressed up for prom, probably yeah. taking pictures someplace, hey, but that makes right. sense. Yeah, that's, that's a local park. It's cheap to get in, in and out, but they did a quality job on this park. The sunken portion here is very, very well done. And then there's a Love in the Rain sculpture with the lock thing on it. That was kind of cool. But this is where people who live in Vancouver come to hang out with Buck. Bloedel Conservatory in Queen Elizabeth uh, Park. The and highest point in Vancouver, by the way. They have birds in here. This one was born in 1977. It's almost as old as we are. And this is the kind of stuff that we are looking for. So while we were very frustrated earlier with our day in Vancouver, 
I think we've recovered it with the uh, Bloedel Conservatory and Queen Elizabeth Park. So today we are off to the UBC Museum of Anthropology that just opened up on the 13th after 18 months of renovation. We're not sure it's really our thing, but we're really curious because of the new renovations and uh, we could get there and it could be completely jammed and we turn around and leave and then we go to the Van Dusen Botanical Gardens. words for what's processing in my brain after going through the UBC Museum of Anthropology. It's a beautiful structure that highlights it, the, the 44,000 pieces I saw. It's huge. It's You think of museums and what you don't see in most museums is the large portion of what they have that's in storage somewhere. So what they've done is they've made that storage accessible and it just goes on and on and on, and it's incredible. And the other, the other element of it that was just super impactful is they had some indigenous people, native, welcome for the reopening of yeah. the museum. Yeah, it was beautiful. Canada's doing a pretty good job, though, of trying to protect. Bring back the voices. Protect and document um, the stories and their uh, culture and heritage and the totem poles, which are amazing, and the canoes, and the, the well, and the, everything. The, my brain is swimming with all sorts of feelings and thoughts and information. It was, yep. it was incredibly impactful. And it's not huge. Hour and a half, two hours. I mean, you can do it yeah. in, yeah, you can do it in two hours, unless you go through and you open up all the drawers and oh, see all the different things. Then you'd be things. here forever. Then you'd be here forever. So. so, but our parking is about to expire, and we need some lunch, and uh, we still have the Botanic Gardens to go to. Knock on wood. Oh my God, the weather is gorgeous. Blue skies. So, we're off. Second and last stop for the day, the Van Dusen Botanical Garden, affiliated with the Bloedel uh, from yesterday. And it looks outstanding from the outside. Great architecture. We're gonna spin around here. We have this huge swooping roof line. And, and also right out front, they show uh, what's blooming in the garden in three different sections. And there's this blooming onion. Which you can actually see it right back here, the purple one right there. It's a, called a blooming onion. I want those. I want those in the garden. Okay. We've this been here about 10 minutes and I would do this over, I'd do Bouchard or the Butterfly or anything with a tour bus out front. There's a wedding here somewhere today. We see a bunch of people all dressed up coming in here. But again, those are local folks. They're having a good time. This is their town and it is beautiful. 10 out of 10 recommend this and what was it? $14 a person. Canadian. Canadian. So that's like $9 US. Just. <laughs> And it's huge. I don't think we're going to be able to see it all today because we're just going to get lost. It's all a big maze and we're going to a maze and there's waterfalls and there's duck ponds with ducks and baby ducks. Baby ducks, baby geese.
10 out of 10 recommend Van Dusen Botanical Gardens. I think we've been here two and a half hours. Yeah, and we've never felt crowded. There's other oh. people here. There's two weddings going on here today, and we never felt crowded. Um, so it's nothing compared to Bouchard Gardens and the tour buses from the cruise ships. So we recommend doing Bloedel's Conservatory, the Queen Elizabeth Garden, and uh, Van Dusen Botanical Garden. Um, just absolutely incredible. I wanted to bring home so many different flowers, but I thought smuggling seeds <laughs> and plant life into California would be a really bad idea. Yeah, they got a time in British Columbia. I think we thought it was only going to be Vancouver, but it turned into a lot, more. a lot more, which we are super excited about. And this is our last video on our British Columbia trip. The first one was Victoria in Vancouver Island, and the second was Whistler and the Sea to Sky Highway, and the third one being Vancouver itself. We hoped you enjoyed watching our videos as much as we, or nearly as much as we enjoyed creating them for you. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to our channel and hit a like button if you can too.